up, guys? PWB. So I'm a personal trainer certified through ISSA, International Sports Science and Association. I'm a personal trainer, strength conditioning coach, exercise therapy specialist, and corrective specialist as well. I say all these damn titles because, motherfucker, I earned them, suckers, so I'm going to say them. The point of the video today is... I get asked a lot right, about how to, first of all, squatting. Squatting is a mess in itself. It's way too much for me to cover in one video. I like to keep these videos short, right? I get questions about squat depth, how you squat more weight, all these different things, okay? So, what I'm about to tell you is one, from experience, two, from other people helping me out, and then three, from textbooks is what I've learned as a personal trainer and so on and so forth. Breathing through your diaphragm. So that's what we're going to talk about, how to properly breathe, okay? So look, when you breathe in through your diaphragm, a couple of things happen. Your rib cage become in line with your pelvis, right? This is very, very important to prevent injury and to have enough strength to do your damn lift, right? So. What you want to do is, you don't want to breathe through your chest. So if you see your chest doing this, if you see your chest coming up and your abdomen going in, <laughs> you're wrong, right? If you see your belly coming up like big old belly, okay, you're right, okay? Belly out, right. Belly in, wrong, as far as chest up. What I said before, okay? So that's very, very important. You want to have this intra-abdominal pressure, right? That is a huge so you keep that pressure, you're gonna keep your core tight and strong. That is gonna help you in not only squats, but deadlifts and overhead presses as well. You're gonna see a significant increase in your strength if you go ahead and do this, if you have that pressure inside of you, okay? Don't breathe up through your chest, you breathe up through your diaphragm. And you, I know if you're a serious lifter, or if you're serious about any type of exercise, if you've just been around this game for a while, you hear people talk about breathing in and keep your, keep your core tight. That's what they mean. So what that is, what you want to do, and I'm going to demonstrate as I'm doing the squat here, right? What you're going to do is you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to see my belly get really big. Then you're going to go ahead and kind of put your navel into the back of your spine, right? Kind of flex it, right? Once you flex it, that's tightening your core. Some people breathe out, but then you release that pressure, right? So you can definitely lift more, obviously, right, if that's what you're into. If you go ahead and just hold your breath while you conduct that lift, and then you go ahead and breathe out. You're going to go ahead and breathe in. Excuse me. Yeah, breathe in. Your belly's going to get big, right? And then you're going to kind of flex, put your navel, your belly button, try to envision your belly button going to your spine, and you're going to flex in. That is how you activate your core, and that's how you keep that intra-abdominal pressure. That is how you're going to be able to squat more. That's how you're going to be able to squat safer, and not only squat, but deadlifts as well. This is huge, guys, for a lot of your, uh, your lifts. Definitely, definitely incorporated. Everything that you have to do, anything that involves you, your posture and maintaining posture, which is every exercise, you want to incorporate this, right? Unless you're doing something quickly, quick, fast, fast, fast. Okay? And I'm going to end on this note. How you know you're doing a good job is one, you're going to practice breathing by yourself, okay? Put your hand on your belly and your chest. You want your belly to go out, right? And then your belly coming in. You want to practice that stationary, then you want to practice that walking, then you want to practice that running. If you can do those three things, motherfucker, you made it. I hope you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell all the motherfucking people. I got to go out here because I'm getting dust bros and I got some other work to do. Peace!